So to do the plain bunting piece, I'm going to use double knit yarn in purple and white yarn uh, for the border. And I'm going to use a four millimeter hook. Um, and to start off the triangle, I'm going to chain 20. So make a slip knot and chain 20. One, two, three, 17, 18, 19 and 20. And I'm going to be working in uneven numbers. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna skip the first chain and I'm going to do one single crochet into the 19 chain. So the first row is going to be a, a row of single crochet, 19 of them. So skip the first chain uh, nearest the hook and go straight into the second one. And I am using American terms because that's what I learned in. So one single crochet in each chain across and you should have 19 single crochets at the end of your first row. So I'm coming near the, the end of my very first row And at the end of every row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now, I'm going to start decreasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease in the first two stitches. So I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch, pull the wool through, two loops on your hook, and insert it into the next stitch, pull your wool through, three loops on your hook, pull your wool around and pull it through all three loops. And I'll do that again at the end. And then I am going to single crochet in each stitch across until the last two stitches. So at the end of this row, you should have 17 stitches because you're decreasing by two. So coming to the end of this row and I leave two stitches at the end and I'm going to decrease by crocheting these two stitches together. So insert your hook into the stitch and pull your wool through, leaving two loops on your hook. Insert your wool into the next stitch, pull your wool through, three loops, wrap your wool around and pull it through all three loops. Chain one and turn your work. Now every second row, after this point, I'm not going to decrease. I'm just going to do a single crochet across. So for this row, one single crochet in each stitch. So you should have 17 stitches. So just coming near the end of row three, which is not a decreasing row, just an ordinary row, and you should have 17 stitches. And the last stitch. At the end of this row, you chain one, turn your work, and you do this at the end of every row. Now, this row is a decreasing row. So we're going to decrease by two. So you will have 15 stitches at the end of this row. So insert your hook into the stitch, pull your wool through. Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your wool through. Wrap your wool around your hook and pull it through all three loops. And then just do a single crochet in each stitch across until the last two stitches. So I've come to the end of row four, my last two stitches, and I'm going to decrease in my last two stitches. Chain one, turn my work. The next row, row five, is not a decreasing row. So you just do one single crochet in each stitch across. One and two and three and four, 14 and 15 stitches. Chain one, turn the work. And for the next row, you're going to decrease. So you should have 13 stitches at the end of this row. So in goes your hook into the first two stitches together, pull through, single crochet across 11 stitches. So three, four, five, six. So basically the idea is that you're decreasing in every second row by two. 
uh, decreasing um, two stitches together at the beginning and two stitches together at the end and come to the end of this row and just two stitches together and you'll start to get a triangular shape and you keep doing this until you come near the end of the triangle and I'll see you at the end. So I'm coming very near the end of the triangle and I have five stitches left um, on the row. So at the end of this row, chain one and turn your work. Okay, and again you decrease, I'm on a decrease row, two together, one in the middle, because we're gonna have three at this stage, three stitches, two together, chain one, turn my work. Now I have three stitches left, so I do one, two, and three, um, chain one and turn my work. Now, at the very end of the triangle, I have three stitches left. So in order to keep your triangle even, this is how I decrease for the very last row, is I insert my hook, hook into the first stitch and into the second stitch as usual, wrap my wool around and pull through, the same way as you would at the beginning of any decrease row, and then what I do is I insert my hook back into the same middle stitch and into the last stitch and pull my wool through. Now it won't be exactly pointy, but when you put the board or the edging on, it will be pointy. Now what I do is I chain one and now I'm going to do a half double crochet the whole way around just to make it really neat. And so what I do is I start to work up the side of the triangle in a half double crochet and to do a half double crochet in case you're not sure is you wrap your wool around your hook insert it into where your stitch is wrap your wool around your hook again and pull it through and you should have three loops on your hook wrap your wool around your hook and pull through all three loops now going up the side here you don't have exact stitches to go into so you just go in where you think it looks right so it is a little uneven and difficult to do, but you will get the hang of it. So generally you're trying to do one half double crochet per row, the end of each row. And you work up the side. And when you come to the top of the first side, you need to do three double crochets. And I'll show you why in a second, or should I say three half double crochets. So I'm nearing the end of the first side of doing a half double crochet along the first side um, and I'm coming to the corner. Now in the corner I'm going to do three half double crochets because that makes the corner neat. So I've already done one so I'm going to do another two into the same stitch and it just makes the corner nice and square as you're going around. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet along the top. And these will be your chain stitches. Whoops. Okay. And I'll show you now what I mean. That just makes the corner nice and neat. It also makes the uh, bunting triangle much bigger. Okay, so we're just going across the top. Okay, I'm nearly across the top of the bunting triangle and I have come to the corner and just like the other corner, I'm going to do three half double crochets into the same space and this just makes the corner look really neat. One and two and three. Now, this little piece of wool if you hold that down along the side as you're going along, you can actually crochet it into your project. And you just go back down the other side, the third side, with a half double crochet at the end of each row. So nearly at the end of the third side, and I'm just going to half double crochet right to the end, into the last one. And I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet, like that. Okay, 
cut my yarn and pull that through. And that is the main part of the triangular bunting. Now I'm going to add the border. So with the border, I'm not going to do it along the top because eventually you'll be joining all your bunting together. And I'm going to do that with one row. So I'm just going to do the bunting down the sides. I'm going to make a point here and back up the other side. So start on the right side. This is the wrong side and you'll know the difference. You'll be able to see the difference. This one looks neater. Um, and put your hook into the top corner like this. Take your wool. And I'm using white. And pull your wool through. And just to make the wool nice and anchored, whoops, chain one. Now, for my edging, I'm going to skip one stitch. And into the next stitch, I'm going to do five double crochets. One, two, all into the same stitch. Three, four, and five. I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch like that. And that is the first little piece of edging. So again, I'm going to skip a stitch and into the next stitch I'm going to do five double crochets. And if you're not sure on how to do any of the stitches or the different terms used, uh, I do have a video on how to do the different stitches. Uh, so that's five double, crochet, five double crochets, skip one, slip stitch into the next stitch and repeat. Skip one, five double crochets, two and three and four and five. Skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. So a really nice pattern has started to emerge. And uh, again, the same thing, slip, uh, skip one and slip stitch into the next one. One and two, three, four and five. Slip stitch, skip one, slip stitch into the next stitch. And now we've come to the point bunting. Now this is going to be slightly different because we're going to make it pointier than these clusters. So what I do here is I do the usual skip one and into this one in the middle start off by doing two double crochets into the same space one and two and then three triple crochets or triple. So wrap the wool around twice and insert and you're going to pull it through one, two, and three times and you do that three more times all into the same stitch one so basically you're going to have seven stitches in the bottom so you're going to have two double crochet oops, start that one again two double crochet three triple crochet and then two more double crochet all into the same stitch like that and then you skip one well I'm going to skip two in this case because it just looks neater. And you just continue this pattern up the side to the top. Okay, so you're going to skip one and do five double crochet all into the same space. So I've come to my last cluster. Three, four, and five. And slip stitch to the top. Chain one, put your wool, pull it through, and then you can pull that tight. And it should look like that there. Now, depending on what you're doing with your bunting, you can put a flower in the middle, you can do crocheted letters, you could uh, put baby or a child's name. Um, for this project, I'm just gonna put some flowers and join them all together. And really, really simple, really easy to do.